Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne. In the last episode we defeated the boss uh, Beelzebub. Um, and yeah, so now we're going to continue on. Um, once again, I am following a guide for just this section of the game um, because it is frustrating and stupid. <laughs> and I highly recommend it to anybody else who feels as frustrated by these designs as I do. Okay, so told me to go back and talk to the Mothman. You defeated our leader. <laughs> wow. Then you should look for the star key. It can unlock the golden doors. It's somewhere in this labyrinth, where it used to be cursed. There's another demon who knows where it is. If you can get the star key, maybe you can make it to the bottom? Okay. Now, let me just make sure. Um, let's see. After speaking to him, orient yourself to the south. We are. With the Mothman next to you on your left, head south until a door comes up to your left. Enter that door. Okay, use the warp point um, to get to the end of the original warp quarter. Um, don't go down the ladder. Instead, use the warp point behind you to return to the entrance of the fourth Kalpa. Did it do it? Yeah, I guess it does. Yeah, that just takes us back. Okay, cool. And now, we're gonna go back to the entrance, and we're gonna be heading to the second Kalpa. I think I know where it's taking us, actually. Mmm, this is no longer cursed. Ouch. Okay, it is just more area, so we're gonna do this later. Yeah, we're gonna do this later. Okay, let's get out of here.
My meta for those is finding the easiest way to do nothing and get through them without getting hurt. <laughs> Alright. So, we've beaten Beelzebub. Um, I think what we're going to do is we are actually going to jump out and heal and save. And then we're actually going to go and see about doing a piece of optional content that somebody told me about in a... In, in a few comments, actually. I think a few people told me about it. Um, I wrote down, because it was the first one that I read and put into my notes, but Hajime uh, uh, gave me a note and told me that I need to go to Kabukichu Prison for something optional. So, we're going to be doing that real quick. So, off to Kabukicho Prison. I don't know where I'm going here, but we're just going to explore this place a little bit until we find it. Okay, debilitate, yep, I want to learn that. I do want to learn fog breath on you. Um, Daisojo, we don't need you in right now. So, who are we going to bring in? You're going to learn life drain, Sukukaja, glacial blast. Yeah, we still need to learn your last skill, Black Rider. I think that's what we should work on. You're getting close. 10,000, almost 11,000 experience, and then you'll have it. Okay. What about Garuda? Okay. It's freezing. This is all the Emperor's doing. The Emperor, huh? So yeah, this place is different. I'm guessing we're probably going to end up going to a higher floor. It's probably up at the top in the same place where we fought the uh, snake guy that I'm blinking on the name right now. We had him in our team for a long time. Let's talk to anybody we can talk to. That goddamn wannabe emperor thinks he can muscle into my clan's turf, huh? I'd go up to the top floor and teach him a lesson myself, but it's too goddamn cold to move. God damn it. Of all the rotten luck. Okay, top floor. You got it. Um, I don't remember exactly the path that we have to take, but... Oh. Okay, so it's gonna be a different path then. It's no longer working. Let's see if the stairs are clear. <laughs> yeah, I think this was blocked before, wasn't it? I'm all for the uh, ease of access they're giving us here. I at least thank the Emperor for uh, clearing the path. Um, hi. You're... Wait up. I'm not dumb enough to, to go against you. Uh, I'll tell you something useful, so don't make that face, okay? Okay. Have you ever seen a Jack Frost named Hee-Ho? <gasps> is that the king? Uh, is, is this... Oh, it's gonna be King Frost, isn't it? Did the Jack Frost guy that... Did he become a... A, a King Frost or something? I hear he has something to do with the Emperor. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going. I don't think it's this. No, it's probably the up that's up around this corner. Yeah, one more floor, I think. Yeah.
This is my way of taking a break from the fourth Kalpa that I clearly don't want to do. <laughs> yep, it's gonna be a King Frost. Hee ho, hee ho. Hee ho indeed. Come on, you praise the Emperor too. Hee ho, hee ho. All right, so fire's probably gonna be useful here, right? Stands to reason. Um, so yeah, Black Frost or King Frost, but since they're talking about an Emperor, quote unquote, it's probably King Frost, right? Um, so what have we got here? Nyx, you've got Zeo. Kali has got Physical. You've got Glacial. Let's take you out. And we're going to bring in somebody. And I think Teodi has Agi. And you also. Yeah, let's bring in Lachesis. I kind of want your fog breath. Maybe we switch out. Mm. We'll take out Nyx. And bring in Garuda. Let's go. It's a black frost, okay. <laughs> I figured it'd be one of the two. Um, that means the fire may not be effective. Um, I believe Black Frost can use both ice and fire. And I don't know what the weaknesses are, so. Feast your eyes on me, the abominable Black Frost. I'm so heliciously evil, they call me the Emperor of Capuchicho. Don't like it? Then blow it out your hee-ho. <laughs> the world belongs to me, the mighty Emperor, hee-ho. How was that? Did I scare you, ho? No. Nah. Ho, now I'm insulted. You gonna apologize, hee-ho. I am a hee-ho. He, <laughs> the man's got guts, thinks he's the head he honcho. Well, you know what, ho? I think you need a reality check from the greatest emperor in he history. Now bow down to the Bufu master. You know, I should have uh, checked if we had people who were weak against, you know, that shit. That would have been smart, but I didn't. Okay. Oh, wait, we got froze. Oh, no, we didn't. We didn't get froze. Never mind. Looks like we did for a second. Ah, Kali is weak to it. Okay, just missed the first time. Okay, Zahn is good. 290 is pretty good attack. You might have to be taken out if you struggle too much here. Oh yeah, you, you gotta go. Um, you're weak uh, against Bufu, and he's really strong against physical. Damn it. Okay, so he probably reflects Bufu and Agi then. So you're gonna be useful here, but I think that we have two people we need to take out.
can't remember who had what, but Black Rider has the Glacial Blast and Soul Divide, right? Kinda need a healer in here, though. I don't know if Barong has anything we can really use. That's it, I'll show you what an Emperor can really do. You have Bolt Storm, good. Okay, Bolt Storm is probably gonna be the one we can use. <laughs> Okay, we can't use Hellfire. These aren't gonna be that good, but let's see. Cool, 127. Could be worse, could be a lot better though. Oh my gosh, our HP is 666 right now. So fitting right after we defeated Beelzebub. <laughs> You're gonna need an MP boost. I'll try nerf. All right, didn't work out. <laughs> it's worth a shot, I guess. This is all across the board. Yeah, you're my hardest hitter right now. Not too bad, actually. 50,000 experience and 10,000 maka and a chakra drop. Cool. Why do you interfere with my evil master plan, huh? All I wanted was to be like the legendary King Frost, horrifying, yet loved by all. Why must that be so he hard? You're not a Black Frost anymore, buddy. Just gonna point that out. Shoot, crap, son of a he ho. Uh oh, I think I may be liquefying. Oh my god. <laughs> That's horrifying. Black Frost melted. You obtained the Magatama Satan. Cool. <laughs> um, if you say so, we just got a Magatama called Satan. Uh, let's see. There it is. Impart special magic. You nullify dark and you're weak to light. Jive talk. Don't know how I feel about that. But sure. <laughs> sure. Pretty decent magic boost. We're still almost maxed out on strength and vitality with this thing. So that jive talk has got to be some kind of recruitment tool, right? Maybe we'll see what that one is and see what the next skill is. Uh, oh, I went out the wrong door. I was like, why is this a dead end? Okay, optional fight done. I guess we should go and uh, heal up at a 
fountain, huh? We'll do that real quick. So part of me kind of wants to level up um, my Daisojo. Oh wow, there are fights here now. That's new. I always came back here because there were never fights right here. Now there are. It's not gonna save your life. War cry all day. Okay, back to fourth Kalpa stuff, although we are going to the second Kalpa right now. <laughs> Let's do a quick save. Okay. So, in a previous episode, I had mentioned that, you know, if we would have done this thing that um, uh, gets rid of these cursed floors, that maybe we could have waited until now to go and get that extra, what was it, like, it was a crazy amount of maca, I can't remember if it was like 100,000, I think it was like 250,000 or something crazy like that, I can't remember exactly, but it was a lot of maca, a lot of money for that point in the game. And I thought, okay, so they do give you a chance to come and get this stuff later in the game, but um, somebody commented and said, no, actually, um, you can't. <laughs> um, and apparently, I think what we're going to do now is go to that place and uh, it's going to be a different event. So I think that you have to get that earlier on in the game in order for you to um, get that extra maka. So, I believe that we're going to that same demon and that same... Oh, am I in the right place? Hold on. Yeah, I think so. Hold, hold on. Let me... Yeah, we just need to get down to this floor. Now are we on the right floor? Yes, we are. Okay. So I think I even remember the path here. Because we made it several times. Oh, I need to heal us. We took a bunch of damage during that minigame. Dumbest minigame of all time. I hope those don't exist in five. Because I think they're stupid and I hate them. Stupid tunnel things. Like, it's not even fun. <laughs> Let me know if you think it's fun. If you think it's fun, I think you're wrong, but uh, I respect your opinion. <laughs> okay, now we come around left. Go down this hallway. Um, yeah, this way. And one of these goes down. It's the middle. Okay. And originally this led to a place that was incredibly frustrating and had a cursed floor. And I believe that this is where the game is telling me to go now. Nice. Well done. Well done, team. The curse has been undone. You can go now. So yeah, if you were planning on getting that extra money, um, you probably need to do it before you fight Beelzebub. Someone correct me if I am wrong. How dare you put us to sleep? Teoti on Teoti violence. 
That's the that's what I want from Nyx. I cannot wait to learn that skill. Speaking of which, we need to pull Barong out. I don't think there's anything we need to be working on with him. So, anybody else who has cats, as you guys know, uh, many of you know, um, I have kittens now. And it's a pair of them. Um, when I'm doing treats, they get a little bit aggressive and they claw at my hands. Um, does anybody know what the trick is in order to avoid that? To kind of get them to be calm when they're getting treats? Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to work on their behavior a little bit. And that's one of the areas where I need to work on with them. Is that they just get a little bit aggressive when it comes to treats and they bite the hand accidentally and anytime I'm bringing it down they claw at me. I think I might need to give them treats separately for a while so that they don't feel like they have to fight each other to get the treats. I've been trying to do it where um, I, I have them, um, I, I say their name and do like a little sound and um, that's my way of trying to teach them their name as well. Um, and so like only they get their treat when I say their name, but I still do think that maybe I do need to separate them just for a little bit while I try and teach them stuff. Um, because right now it's been a bit of a struggle, but I don't know. Let me know what, what your your tricks are and uh, your little training tips because it's it's been a while since I've had a cat and it's been a really, really long time since I've had a kitten. So I'm definitely more versed on training dogs who are a lot more... Let's be honest, they're easier to train. <laughs> they're a lot easier to train. Um, cats are stubborn, independent things. <laughs> Teodi, you suck, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuse you out as fast as I freaking can because you have missed so many times against bosses and against just regular enemies. Like, you suck, dude. You're on my shit list. You haven't even been in the party that long. <laughs> Is that just in my head? Or am I right? Like, I feel like he's missed a lot. Like, during a boss fight, it's fine. But if, if during regular fights he's constantly missing, that's... I, I draw the line, man. I draw the line. Close to a level up. We'll keep you in a little bit longer. Might be switching you out though. Alright, I'll tell you something you might want to know. My drinking buddy is somewhere up in Tokyo getting hammered. He's got the key that opens the golden doors. Okay. So he's at the bar, huh? Probably at, at, in, um... Crap, I can't remember which, which city it was. So that was just a hint, huh? It may have also been a flag. He may not have shown up at this bar um, until we had that talk, but... Okay, we're on a new Kagatsuchi. That's what I was checking. I'm just gonna put that on because these are... Up here is going to be low levels, and we don't need to fight these low levels. Just a waste of our time. 
Um, I don't remember how to get out. I think it's that path over on the right. So we'll just go back the way we came and then hit that right path. The eastern path. I'm actually surprised I remember this area so well. We went through it a lot though, so I guess that makes sense. So we have the silver key, we're gonna get the gold key soon. Now we're gonna go to the bar at that city that um, I'm blanking on the name right now. All I can think of is Kabukicho Prison right now, but no, it's um, uh, Ginza? Ginza. I think it's Ginza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one with the bar that has uh, Nyx and uh, had uh, Loki and whatnot, right? Is this the one I can hit the bottom left corner and not hit anything? We're going to try that. Not sure this is that one. Yeah, it's not Shibuya, so I think it is Ginza. That's the one that has the uh, the fountain in the middle when you exit, right? If so, then that's the place I'm thinking of. And the bar should be right here. Shijima is still a world where all petty emotions are relinquished. You become one with the universe and there's no need to suffer. It fits a person who keeps his cool like me. Yosuga plans to make Tokyo a place for only the best and brightest. It's intended to be a refined new world where the weak don't exist. Yeah, 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 okay. You got anything for me, Nix? The assembly of Nihilo, Hikawa has finally begun to move. I hear he's after the large amount of Magatsui at the Diet Building. <sighs> A human gaining control using the negative emotions of humans. It's both ironic and sad. Yeah, okay. It's probably you, huh? Hold it. Oh, you again. What? The star key? <laughs> I drank the damn thing, or I might as well have. I sold it to a curious mannequin, see? Oh my god, they're giving me the fucking runaround. This is so... <sighs> Unnecessary is what it is. <laughs> The developers for the fourth Kalpa were like, ah, you know what? Fuck them. We hate our audience. <laughs> I needed the money, what with my room being raided and all. Oh. The booze helps. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to check the guide and see which mannequin we need to sell it to. It might be the one that's um, up by Asakusa. Well, not. It's like way north of Asakusa. Like, it's north of Mifunashiro. Um, um, yeah, yeah, it is that one. The guide says go to Asakusa, B1 level, then head straight to the junk shop. So is it the Asakusa one or is it the one north of Mifunashiro? It might be the one that was... Mm. Oh, wait. Right. We'll, we'll see. We'll see when we get there. Um... Okay, I'm considering trying to do some uh, fusions to get Daisojo to a higher level, so that when we pull him in to do, like, Meditation Makatori, he's not so low level. <laughs> so, we have a lot of money. We have a lot of money. I like it. I'm going to do a quick save, and we're going to try something real quick before we uh, move on with this tedious, tedious quest. 
that we're on right now. Okay, I always forget, I believe the elements are the ones that create the same one, but better, right? So if I do that, and I do it at a full Kagatsuchi, I can then also, um, well, we'll see, we'll see in a minute. Um, okay, I've saved. I think Matamas is the one that I need. That all? <laughs> Take a look. Anything. Okay, I need a full Kagatsuchi. I'm not even going to speed this one up. Every once in a while, I like to show you what I have to go through for this Kagatsuchi bullshit. <sighs> I know that they have the Kagatsuchi cycles in SMT5. I just hope that there's like an easier way to handle shit like this. Like, even if it was just like that there was a button that let you say, hey, I want to go to this Kagatsuchi, but it still made you fight as many fights as it would normally if you hadn't, to the if you didn't have a Soma on or something, I'd be gather. fine with that, honestly. Oh? Oh? Are you sure? Hmm. Oh? Oh. No, not register. All right. Okay. So, Saki Matama. Sojo. Gives us more stats. <laughs> and we're going to sacrifice. Wait, why can't we? Well, why wouldn't we be able to sacrifice any of these? Is it because we're using a Matama? So they don't let you do a, a Matama fusion and a sacrifice. Then why not, though? Why not? So, like, if we were to do any other fusion, I'm just gonna <laughs> do this for the sake of... Yeah, see? We can... We can do it with literally anything else, but... All right. It won't let us because we're using a Matama. Well, that's fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? That actually frustrates me a lot. All right. Hmm. All right, fine. I'm I'm kind of mad about that, if I'm being honest. All right, off to Asakusa. Okay, so is it this path that leads to that junk shop guy? Or is it the one further north in Mifunashiro? This is where I'm second guessing myself. Okay, it's here. I believe this should be the guy.
welcome. Well. Mm hmm. Oh. Yeah. Well. Okay, well, we can't buy it from what him, so want? maybe we just talk to him. By the way, I got this from a demon for 60 maka the oh. other day. He sold it for 60 maka? Wow, okay. He should have sold it for more than that. It's called the Star Key, but I'm not interested in it. I'm only interested in man made items. So I'll give it to you if you'd like. Do you want it? I do. I see. Okay, then, here you go. Alright, we finally got the Star Key. That's what I'll do. I hope you enjoy the rest of your shopping. What do you want? Well. A lucky ticket. Ta da! Hey, we've got f 10 finally. <laughs> I think this is the first time we've ever gotten it. Big box, I guess. Want? It's a bead. You think this might come in handy? I'll do it. Sure. I'll take a bead. Okay. Um, I think I'm just gonna. Ha I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna re have you guys all return when I get where I need to go next. So, I'll be back. Okay, I'm returning to you at the uh, third Kalpa. So I just came down the thing. We're in the third Kalpa. And if you remember, this is the place that has all of those doors that uh, either require strength, luck, or magic. Um, I just wanted to make sure that you guys saw the path that I'm going forward in order to find this place. Um, I do remember how to get to this, to at least one of these doors that are gold. I think there's another one that I'm trying to remember how to get to that I don't quite. Um, but yeah. Okay, this takes us down, and we'll be, oh yeah, this is one of the other doors, right? So there's one in this hallway, if I remember correctly. Okay, not super effective, let's try this. That's a little better. Okay, so I think there's one he Oh, wait, no, this isn't the same type of golden door. We need... Yeah, this is the one that only a servant of darkness may pass. Sure. Whatever you say. Um, I beat Beelzebub. And I think my health might still be max um, 666, so I don't know. I think that... Oh, no, it doesn't. How is that possible? You guys all remember when I had that 666 HP? How, how is it possible that my max HP is 654 then? What's going on here? What's going on here? All right, the gold door that I knew about was this one right here. Okay. Where is this taking us? Weird. Okay, it's taking us to a different Kalpa. I suppose this would be taking us back to the fourth Kalpa, huh? Um, uh, maybe we're that, um... Yeah, it's gonna be that place that... Words are not coming to me. Um, there was like a button on the, on the other side of a barrier. And they told us that we had to go through a different Kalpa to get to it, so. This has got to be that. There's a switch. Will you activate it? I will.
I guess our fastest way to the fourth Kalpa is going through all those places again. Ugh. Gotta hate this place. Yeah, let's put that back on. Yep, straight through. Also, oh yeah, so that thing that he was using against us, the violet thing, was light. That's why it had a weakness against us. We're close to a level up, and I'm going to see what that jive talk is and whatever the next skill is, and then I'll probably switch to a different Magatama. Last thing I need is a freaking game over because somebody uses a light skill on me. Path of Least Resistance.
Okay, I mean, at this point, I probably should freely explore a tiny bit, especially over here to the left. So let's do that. And then I'll go back to using the guide, I think. Oh, that's it, huh? Nice, 25,000 Maka. I'll take it. Okay, um, give me a moment while I figure out where I'm supposed to go next. Okay, before I move on, I think what I need to do is... Go back to the Hell's Vault, which means that I have to be at half or full Kakatsuchi. And we're gonna follow a guide and make sure that we get all of the chests in there. So, are we gonna make it in time for the half? We are. Okay. Okay, this should be the Hell Vault, and I'm just gonna follow this guide. I think we found um, some of them already. Walk through the door to the north, warp to the next area with a mystical chest by going west. Okay. We got this one. Now go south. Should warp us to another chest. We may have gotten this one too. I remember we got two of them, I think, in here. Yeah, so we got those. Um, head for the next warp point by walking east. That already is not accurate. Because this is east, guys. All right, so this guide is already shit. Go through the portal just ahead and right back out again. Cool, um, useless. Great, great. So this is an inaccurate walkthrough. Great. Ugh, fuck me. Alright, um, maybe I don't care enough to do this, then? If the guide I'm using isn't even accurate, like, what's the fucking point? And the other guide I was looking at, that's act- Ugh, man. Okay, hold on. Let's get through this fight, and then I'm gonna- Try and check a different guide or something. I hate this Kalpa. I hate it with a fiery passion. Is that the first time we've seen a Mott? I think it is. Invite foul, haunt, or wilder demons to join you. Interesting. Huh. I really like the sound of that. I just don't think I have anywhere for it. Not losing indoor, it saved me twice now from a game over. <laughs> if anything, it'd probably be Rakukaja that we lose. Should I lose Rakukaja? 
we have other people that we can get defense buffs from, so cool. Okay, we can learn Nullify Dark. Great. Fantastic. Love that. Okay, um, I'm going to end the episode here, and what I'm going to do off screen is find a new guide that can help me through the Hell's Vault um, and anything else that we're going to go and look for here. And then uh, I'm also going to get rid of my curse. So um, I'll see you all in the next episode. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, Seventh Son, and ZTD. If you also would like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below. Thank you.